Well, let's see. So, teachers that teach lies purposely, especially, with malice, probably, should be fired from their job. Well, I guess, yeah. What's wrong with that? The problem is, what you said is, is like you said, there's absolutely no evidence for evolution. There's absolutely no evidence for abiogenesis. There's absolutely no evidence for the chain. You know, just because you don't understand science and you can't figure it out in your little other world with your superhero to tell you everything, that doesn't mean that by default everything is done by a god. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. That's illogical. And in the second place, if you have a teacher that tries to teach creationism as opposed to uh, origin of species, let's say, or biology, which is where the evolutionary learning would come, you'd be studying biology at the time, okay? You don't study evolution. That's not the lesson. It's just that, well, it's that's not the whole uh, block of education. It's just a lesson within the block. Because you're going to be talking about, if you learn about biology, you talk about how it may have come about. You talk about the different biological forms. You'll talk about whether it's an air breather or, you know, with lungs. Or does it breathe through pores in its skin? Is it a carapace? Does it not? Exoskeleton? And it's, you know, all those things that nature does really are pretty easy to understand once you get the genome. Once you understand what evolution is about, which is survival of the fittest, origin of the species, it's not that, you know, you guys are so funny because you, you pick evolution to argue against, of all things, because it, it totally uh, disallows creationism. No, they're not inclusive. Creationism and evolution are not inclusive. You're, of course, going to find these uh, fence-sitters, agnostics, on down, are pretty much just in case. You know, they're hedging their bet. You're going to find them saying something silly, probably, you know, like, uh, no, we really don't know. <laughs> I kind of lost my train of thought for a second. Now. But the point was... When people teach about science and evolution, these are these are things that have been tried and tried and, and experimented on, and the hypotheses and the speculation and the, the you know, and then you go through working on the instruments. And when they say the theory of evolution, that's a scientific theory, which isn't necessarily an unknown. Okay. Is it, we, uh, we have to say theorize because, well, it's, unless you're talking about a fruit fly, that is, come to think of it, you know, fruit flies you can study and watch them evolve right in front of you in your lifetime. You can watch evolution in its, in its fruit flies, as long as you put them in different conditions, different sti uh, uh, stimulations. Outside stimulus, and such as what causes a, most evolution, uh, whether you can, whether the, the, uh, the organism can survive in that habitat or not, it has to change if it doesn't. And that's called evolution. It's, it's like, you know, habitation. Order. What's, what's going on is the, uh, the organism itself is trying to acclimate for that situation. So it has to evolve into a, a, a and, you know, a, 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 the same form, but uh, with some addition or maybe some subtraction who knows drop a gene here or there you don't know nature knows, nature knows. oh that was just a little spill thing i don't know why it's a little spill going there my answer to you sir is uh don't you think people who uh drag their kids to uh christian schools and get taught catechism they get taught the bible and not science you don't think those people should be, like, uh, brought up on the carpet? 
Because uh, I know if I send my kid to school and the teacher starts telling him about this nasty pornographic book and this serial killer mass murderer that people are supposed to actually revere, let alone worship. This creature that we allow to commit heinous murder and praise it for that. That's sick. Don't you get that? It's freaking sick. Then you'll say something like, well, they're not lies. They're, it's the truth. It's, it's in the Bible. It's the truth. Well, that's the only place it is. It's in the Bible. So if you, you know, if you believe the Bible so much, if you revere it and follow it and actually re have read it, and this is your tenet, your text, the Bible King James Version, right? Then listen to this, Kent. When your daughter gets to be marrying age, she's about to get married, you're, it behooves you to ask her, are you still a virgin? Actually, you're supposed to know. So tell me, Kim, what happens to her if she's not? How about your brother comes to your house and says, Man, come on, stop preaching to me, man. I don't want to hear that. I don't believe that crap. What should happen to him? You going to tell us? I'm getting ready to. I've read the Bible. I'm going to tell all these folks out here exactly what the answer is. But I want to know if you want to go ahead and say it. No? Kill them. The answer is, you take your daughter out and put her in her front door, bury her to her shoulders, and stone her to death. But you have to pick the stones, the proper stones. has to be done right. <laughs> your brother? Oh, yeah. You have to hang him up like a crucifix, I guess, or whatever they want to call it. <laughs> Just hang him and stone him to death with a sign that says, Evil does not abide in this village. Look up Leviticus, you don't believe me. There's many, 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 many cases of that. Look at so-called Sodom and Gomorrah. What, is Las Vegas? But is, is your omnipotent God, your omniscient God, is, is that a mis did he make a mistake? Don't come at me with that free will crap, because your superhero supposedly knows everything so if it knows what's going to happen sees the atrocities being done and does nothing about it then he's a despot mass murderer serial killer and a voyeur of it too it likes to look at it even one might say a, a sadist well, he gets his own hands dirty. Sure. I mean, do you follow all this stuff? Is this your? Is this what you believe? Do you drag your children into this place where they got this dice and something scream? If you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you're going to burn in hell. For, do you do that? It's freaking child abuse. It's bad enough you want to take them to a religious school that teaches nothing but the Bible, which is stupid. They'll never be a doctor. They'll never be a lawyer. They'll never be anybody except a bricklayer. Maybe. They don't know math. That's too intelligent for them. I can't be knowing math. That's can't be smart. You're just perfect, too. Because in your book, Adam and Eve, after the snake talks to Eve, which in itself is kind of funny, and you guys are great, it tells her, eat from the tree of knowledge. Your God just wants you to be stupid and sit around like a like a cow and do nothing, blah, 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 and, be, and not know anything. This is where you learn knowledge. This is where you learn what it's like to be a human being, who you are. So she takes, by, takes it over to Adam, and they share it. And all of a sudden, they get intelligent. <laughs> and they start thinking, hey, we can make symbols and write stuff. Or, whoa, put those together. I'm going to have to put a word on that. Maybe. And then the Bible it even goes so far as to try to tell us that your little Adam named all the animals in the world. <laughs> what did he know about bison? Tell me. And who named it? We know who named it. All these animals. We know who names them. That's why they name them. Usually after themselves. You guys come up with the corniest crap. And I saw the, the Creation Museum. 
with Jesus sitting on a triceratops. What is wrong with you folks? Like I said at the beginning, the very first, like I said, just because you're too stupid or ignorant to listen closely, think critically, and understand science, because you can't do that, that by default it must be magic. Why? Why don't you go learn how that's done? That's like a new open a science book and they'll tell you. You want to know what the beginning of life was like? Nowadays we can do that. There's even a way now they've been able to strip all living cells off of an organ and leave it to its pure collagen scaffolding. And that's it. No disease cells, no nothing. Just scaffolding. They can inject new cells onto the scaffolding and it immediately comes back to life. Spontaneously. Not an accident. Because they engineered it to do that. But it's still a spontaneous spark of life. A little electricity, a little nutrition. Blam! Yes, they did make a heart that started beating on its own as soon as they put the cells in it almost. Within minutes. So tell me again, who's lying? I mean, we know this science stuff. We know it. We can prove it. You, on the other hand, should be thrown in an insane asylum. I mean, jail's too weird for you. You need to go take some medication, dude. You need some medical marijuana or something because you're abusing your kids. Anybody you give this freaking stupid message to is abusing your kids. Do you get that? Because you're, you're just out and out lying to them. Because if one of them goes to a regular school just for a few and sees real science, they're going to know you're a liar. They're going to disrespect you. You're going to say, man, don't tell me he falls for this crap. Because let me tell you, atheists abound in public school. We like it that way. We like it that way. It's a good thing. It really is. And the, the label atheists, you all gave us that label. There's really no togetherness. We don't have an idol. We don't have a tenant dogma. We just wish you people would stop freaking everybody out. Stop lying to everybody. I start trying to build some weirdo righteous base when you people are just the, the sickest group of sickos I've ever run into. All you do is beg for money, beg for money, beg for money, run around in we have mansions and limousines and stuff. Do you remember what the word minister means? It comes from the ancient Greek to serve, not to steal, to serve. Serve is a free giving. You understand that? Of course not. Pass the election the collection plate. Hurry up. This guy's got our number. Pass you the collection plate. You gotta get out of here. <laughs> you know what's funny? You know a lot of join the Westboro Baptist Church because if any of the freaks follow the Bible to the letter, it's them. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's true. And that's just how silly and heinous and nasty your book is. Unbelievable that you people would allow this. And you bring children. Cult, cult. Of course it's a cult. They're all cults. And that's just me spouting up. I just wanted to tell you how, you know, you accuse of people uh, uh, teaching science to be liars. That's crazy. That's just the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yet, you teach with one book. Every subject you try to teach with that one goofy book. Where all it does is talk about punishing you by stoning you to death. They're killing hundreds of thousands of people because God said, this is your land. Get in there and kill all the living things. And then people say, well now, the Old Testament is full of retribution and punishment. The New Testament is full of love. No, it isn't. It's no better. What are you talking about? It's the same old crap. It's just Jesus being mad, <laughs> being shitty instead of your main dude. His mom was 12 when she had him. That means that she got molested when she was 11. She was definitely a virgin because, well, Joseph, the old man, he's laying there too. Like, he didn't touch her. He gave me a break. You people are just freaking weird with all that stuff. That mythological crap. As soon as you can show 